hello welcome to this lesson of our study of you know our partial derivatives okay so in this lesson we just go through the rector function equation okay so you just come in you know study um, partial derivatives in in terms of vectors okay all right so if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to support the channel as well okay let's start all right so let the function z be equal to f of x y okay from this be a surface okay so it's like a surface now if the point a b that is if it is a point with s equals a and y equals b as s and y coordinates on the surface then the equation of the surface as a vector function okay as a vector function you just real of x y and this is given by s comma in a coordinate form like a vector coordinate form so s comma y comma z where we define z as what f of x y okay so you know when you have a two-dimensional this is just like a surface okay so if we're talking about plane then we're dealing with um, a 3d okay okay so with that at the point a b we can simplify it as this because at that point we know x and y's uh, s and y coordinates and then we can put them in okay so wherever you see x we put a there wherever you see y you put b there like this in, in the function okay now let's move ahead now tangent vector for traces with fixed y okay so once you say fixed y then it means if you say something is fixed and the other is um how do i call it varying okay so this i should have added varying or in a plane so once you hear phased y or in a plane x equals a then we are talking about sorry sorry uh, once you hear phased y or in the plane y equals b let me put it that way okay it should be this in the plane y equals b then we are talking about the vector function or tangent vector for traces where we we are just doing the partial derivative with respect to x that is this one okay so given the um, vector function that we just have or we just did okay if you remember this is what you wrote okay you just wrote this that real of x y should be equal to the vector coordinate x comma y comma f of x y which is which f of x y was defined as z okay previously that was what we did so with this if i try to find real x meaning i'm differentiating with respect to x okay so if i take this x and i differentiate what will i get i'll get one with respect to x okay so if i take this y and differentiate with respect to x i'll get zero now if i take this z sorry this z or this f of x y and differentiate with respect to x i'll get f x of x y okay i hope you know you understand what i'm trying to say so at the point a b okay we can simplify it as this so these are very very simple formulas okay now tangent vector for traces of first first x okay now with first x already we know this meaning that y is varying okay and in the plane x equals a either first s or in the plane x equals a any of these will be will, will be okay okay so given the um, vector equation like this the same thing we are differentiating with respect to y so we take x differentiate with respect to y i'll get zero i take y i differentiate with respect to y i'll get one then f of x y differentiate with respect to y i'll get f y of that okay meaning i'm just differentiating with respect to y okay all right then at the point a b this is how we can simplify it it's very cool right okay so now the equation of tangent line to traces with first y is given by this at so it's given by something at, at this point okay at the point a b what will be the equation of the tangent line okay now this was tangent vector okay so this is a, this will be the tangent vector at that point with phase x and with the other one at the same point with phase y this will be the 
tangent vector now what will be the equation like this this was a vector equation that we had for the general function now i want to find a, an equation for the tangent lines okay to trace this with first y now that is given by just the vector equation that we had already plus a certain variable okay times the um vector function for phased y okay so this is very very simple it's very cool i said it's just the vector equation that we know already okay if you remember this is a vector equation this one simplified at the point a b okay that is it plus now the partial derivative at that point a partial derivative when we have phase y means you are finding partial derivative with respect to x okay so this is very very cool like that and that of the other one with first x is also given by this okay so pause the video and copy all these formulas there so that we start solving the question okay so with the first one find the vector equation okay this is the first question find the vector equation of the tangent lines to the traces to um, this function z equals 10 minus 4 x squared minus y squared at a point 1 comma 2 okay so um now with the first thing the vector function equation okay so first thing that you do is your vector function equation okay vector function equation will be given by rho of x y is equal to we said it's just x comma y comma f of x y now f of x y is giving us z okay and the z is what so you just rho of x y would then be equal to x y then z is what 10 minus 4 x squared minus y squared okay i hope you understand so this would be the vector function equation now we are supposed to find the vector equation of the lines to the traces so we are talking about the tangent lines okay so um at let me go to the previous one at the point one two okay view of one two will be equal to what you just simplify like that comma two then i put these values there and i'll get two okay so this will be the simplified or yeah, let me put it out the simplified form for the vector function equation at the point one two now when it comes to the tangent line for phase y meaning in the plane y equals 2 okay so in the plane y equals 2 or phase y okay that means we are supposed to look for what del f del x okay i hope you understand this this implies that so now with this if you pick rho of x y is equal to x y then z is 10 minus 4 x squared minus y squared now real x of x y which will be the vector function for the um, partial derivative with respect to x and that will give me one zero i'm just differentiating them term wise okay then minus 8x this is very simple like that so at the point one two I have rho x of 1, 2 to be equal to 1, comma, 0, comma, negative 8. Now this is cool. Okay. Now you go to the next one. At, um, how do you call it? At a plane or in the plane, x equals 1. Okay. If you remember, I said it that you see that in the plane, x equals a or first x okay it implies you're supposed to find out the real is the real the y rather okay the other one i wrote the f so it should be the real rather okay so we come here you write your real of x y in the vector form is equal to x comma y comma 10 minus 4 x squared okay minus y squared now real y of x y 
is just differentiating them term wise and i'll get zero one comma negative two y okay now at the point one two i have real y of one two so we equal to zero one negative four okay i hope you remember this so um just put y value there and then that will be it okay now with this we're going to write the equation okay so hence we start let's start from the first one okay so um sorry let's go to the first one and conclude here i want to write something here and then conclude so the equation of the tangent line to the trace for the plane y equals 2 okay so the equation will be real of t if you remember we said it's real of t is equal to real of um how do you call it s y z or f of x y simplify the point a b okay so let me put it this way a b then um i have um how do you call it is it real let me let me erase it and write it it's not real okay it's supposed to be just the vector function there okay simplify that a point that so um it should be real no it should be just a b then comma f of a b okay plus t then one comma zero comma f x of a b if you remember this is what you wrote for plane y equals to or phased y okay so now with that we just go back to what we know okay let me push this to the top here and then we just write our final answer so real of t will be equal to now this we had it in the previous slide we had this one okay it is this one okay and now it's being simplified here as one comma two comma two okay so we just go ahead and write it there one comma two comma two okay plus t into now this is everything that we need okay so one comma zero comma then um negative eight okay so you see that this is very simple so you just add them up and then when you add everything you are getting one plus t because t you multiply everything here then comma two then comma two minus eight i hope you understand this so this is very very simple this is the answer to that the first part and now you go to the equation of the tangent line to trace for the plane x equals one or phased x for that one you know the real of t is also equal to um this one a b then sorry um f of a b okay plus t into zero comma one f x sorry f y rather okay we are dealing with plane x equals something f y of a b okay now with that we know that this is equal to one comma um one comma two comma two plus t into zero into one or zero comma one comma negative four then we add these as well so we have one comma two plus t comma 2 minus 40 so you see that this is very very simple like that this is very very simple now we'll go to the next question which is um, somehow tricky but then we'll be able to solve okay so what is the equation of the line tangent to the intersection of the surface so this is a surface this is the equation okay they just say surface but it's the equation that we are coming to deal with um how do you call it there shouldn't be any there shouldn't be any any um comma here okay there shouldn't be any comma there there's no comma there. it's just multiplication okay so pardon me 
with the plane x now look at what they are saying the plane is x equals to at a point this so now if you see we have a three coordinate here now it means that at a third coordinate or at, it, at these given these three coordinates x will be equal to a two and indeed in the plane x equals two and y will be equal to what half and then z which is equal to f of x y or f of a b okay z is that so it means that z is equal to f of two comma half at that point and it should be equal to the third point which is pi over four i hope you get this so this is what what is so um how do you call it not open here in the in the question but then once you've been able to fish this out and we know that you are dealing with this or we are doing this in a plane x equals two and it will mean that you are supposed to find out real first of all you have to find real x y and that is equal to just x y and z okay and now z is given so have x y and turn inverse of x y okay sorry x y okay so now it means that um putting everything here um, we know that turn inverse of x y and then like i said for the z part it is given okay so this is equal to just at so let me let me write a point there so at um, at a point two comma half, I've already said this here. So it means that real of two comma half will be equal to just um, two half, okay? Then pi over four. That is what we just discussed, okay? So this is already given in the question. So the only thing that we need to find is real y, and real y of x y should be equal to zero comma mm -hmm. one then differentiate turn inverse of that and so we'll get we just have to differentiate the brackets first and that will give us with respect to y so we'll get what x now times the differential of turn inverse and that is one over one plus whatever expression you have there squared okay i hope you understand this so this will be so now at the point at the point two comma half what will be the um solution for real y of x y okay and this will be equal to just zero comma one comma then i put two in place of x so i have two over one plus in place of x is two in place of y is half okay then squared okay, so this will give me zero comma one comma two over two and this will give me um i put it here zero comma one comma one i hope you get this so now the equation is given by real of t should be equal to just two comma half comma pi on four plus t into zero comma one comma one and this will be just um two comma half plus t comma then pi on four plus t okay now the equation can be given in, or the question can ask you to leave this in a parametric form okay so if you remember in your vectors in the parametric form you're just saying that what will be the in from this equation what is the value of x or what is the equation of s so x is equal to two y is equal to then you come to the other one is out one over two plus t and z is equal to pi on four plus t so the question can ask you that okay so from from the previous one that we've done if the question was supposed to ask now or we're supposed to we're being supposed to leave our answers in a parametric from this then this is how we would have put our answers okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to support the channel